All right, guys, so I got the Challenger behind me, straight to hell, and we're about to start the facelift. I got some awesome arrow from MFR Engineering that I'm about to put on. I'm gonna redo my worker bill because I got a 2015 and upstyle spoiler, and I gotta do the tow hooks, and I'm gonna also change out the silver grill to a Mopar black chrome grill, so give it more of that sinister uh, look that everyone goes for. Uh, those are some of the smaller things, so uh, yeah, let's, let's get started. I got Ashley here with me, moral support. We got uh, the puppies with us because uh, gonna be a late night we got a late start i had to get some hardware for the uh front splitter which i'll show you guys what i'm gonna do with that so it can withstand some more pressure so uh yeah let's get started all the necessary steps to uh, take off this front bumper here so there is one 10 millimeter nut that's right about here and then one up top but in order to get to this one back here you got to take off the uh, splash guards in the inside fenders so these plastic rivets what I did was I just drilled them out and I also have new plastic rivets I'm gonna replace with them but I just use this craftsman uh, drill drill gun and then I used the tool set and you can just interchange the sizes you need in and out I mean, it's not meant for heavy duty stuff, but little stuff like this plastic rivet is perfect. Pull back the plastic liner, and it's, I mean, you can't even see it on the camera. Hold on. And you go inside, so here's the, here's this piece right there. And then on the inside here, there's the bolt. There's the 10 millimeter nut you wanna get off. Get that off. And these uh, top nuts are right here. So it's right next to the headlight both sides. I also went and took all the plastic rivets off just this black part, not the orange. Actually, I did take off an orange, my bad. So just take them off the black part. It's part of the bumper. And then so you can see the other one, it's right, there it is. So I'm gonna get that off and then the front bumper will come right off. All right, so we got the bumper off. Uh, so we're gonna change out the silver grill for the black chrome grill. It's a Mopar part. Annie, what do you think about that? Okay, she's running away, but that's all right. So the way you do this, you see he's got these tabs on it. So we're just gonna use a, uh, I got a 90 pick that I'm gonna use to get these tabs on the back. To right there. And uh, it'll release it and we'll remove the grill and put the new one in. So let's get started. Ooh, all right, so we got the black grill in. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot harder than it looks, I should say. Uh, it took us a little bit, but we got it in there. You got to push really hard. And when I said I was gonna use that 90 pick to push out the other grill, yeah, I lied. It's like impossible. So I ended up just breaking the tabs, push the grill out, push the new grill in, and there it is. So now we're gonna move on to mocking up the front wind splitter that uh, MFR Engineer provided for us. So I'm gonna actually put the bumper on top of the splitter and after I tape it with some blue tape to mark the holes with a red Sharpie where I'm gonna drill out. So I'm gonna show you guys all that next. All right, so we ended up actually flipping the bumper upside down and mocking up the uh, front splitter, measuring everything twice. You can see where we remeasured. Uh, we start the ones that we don't want to use. So for this first point, um, these are the rib nuts MFR provides. But I'm actually gonna mount this to the chassis. And the way I'm gonna do that is I made these plates right here. So this plate is gonna go on the inside of the bumper. There we go, like that. And then on the other side, I'm gonna have this eye bolt. It's going to come through like this and be sandwiched between the splitter and this metal piece I cut out. 
and through there I'm gonna use some high tensile strength uh, braided wire and it's actually gonna go and connect walk over here to another eye bolt that I'm gonna install right here and then the high tensile wire will run from that eye bolt to the other eye bolt and it'll be nice and sturdy and I also have some mounts that I need to add right here for the very front so we're gonna keep working on this and get it mounted up guys so there it is all finished up uh, some things that I didn't get on camera my phone died so we started charging it we've been playing music all night uh, it is pretty late um, but I used the rib nuts um, inside the plastic but on the back side I did fabricate some small uh, sheets of metal um, I made some smaller ones out of a thicker gauge I don't even know what gauge it was we just had it lying around the shop um, but the I made one really long piece for the middle I don't want to really flip the bumper upside down. Small piece in the middle that goes across here. And I just measured it and drilled out all the holes. And there's four rib nuts in there. And then I got the two in the corner, the two in the other corner. And of course I have the eye bolt, which I'm going to tie the, uh, the uh, high strength uh, tensile wire to. And that's going to go up in here and keep everything nice and tight. Now also, I got these neat support rods from ZL1 add-ons that I'm gonna use so this is what they look like so then you guys are used to seeing the rod out front here somewhere you know whatever suits somebody's style so I'm actually gonna mount these to the actual bumper support as well I think that's what everyone's been doing uh, it'll go somewhere in the middle and it's gonna protrude somewhere out of that lower grill um, these are actually for like the 2015 and up challengers but i think i can make it work with this one but that's it for today uh we're both pretty tired ashley helped me out a lot i needed the extra set of hands so we're gonna finish cleaning up here and then we're gonna come back in the morning and we're gonna finish up putting this front splitter and then move on to i guess the tow hooks are next so all right guys thanks for watching until next time peace out